Hey there, Falcons fans. I am DJ Shockley. Thank you guys for joining me for Falcons Film Review, powered by Microsoft Surface. A couple good plays in the Tampa game. And I'm going to start on the offensive side of the ball. When I talk about details and talk about the things that the quarterback has to do at the line of scrimmage, get them not just from good plays to bad plays, bad plays to good plays. So let's jump into this play here on the Brian Hill run. He goes for 60 plus yards. You're going to explain exactly what happened on this play. So the when you get to the, the snap of the ball here, at the beginning, you see Matt talking here. He's making some adjustments at the line of scrimmage, and they want to run this outside zone here. But when you look at numbers, when you look at personnel, you look at what's happening, this safety is coming down in the box. So right now, Matt is checking because we don't want to run into what we call a force player. This safety is the force player, so it's not good numbers-wise for you. So he goes about his business. Here's the safety sitting down here. This is also a pre-snap that a quarterback has to look at. And now, as the play continues to go, Matt goes down the center. He gives another dummy cadence. Now look where the safety is. The safety has backed off now. He's not in his force area anymore. And Matt has gone through that dummy cadence. Now he's back. We got two high safeties here, but we also have a light box. Remember, we want to run this outside zone. Now we have three guys on this side to block their three. Now, our, our offensive line and tight end do a great job. You're going to get a seal block here. You're going to get a double team on this guy up to this linebacker. And now you have nobody out here for the force player. You get a good block on the outside by the receiver. And then you're off to the races. Now you see Matt changing the play again. You see the safety's trying to play with him, but the safety's going back to the middle of the field. And now look what happens here. You get a seal block here. There's nobody here in the force area to take away from the running back. You get these guys clogged off. You get a seal here on the inside by the guard by Lindstrom. And now you're off the races. And watch here. Watch Trey Will here. He's blocking this corner, but he sees the most dangerous guys in safety about to come in and try to make a play. He comes off him and makes this block and blocks two guys. Now you see Brian Hill off the races to the backside. Let me show you again from the backside what this looks like. Here's the numbers we talk about. The numbers here. It looks good right here in this box. You got three guys here to block. You're going to get the good seal block. You get the double team up to here. And now you get all this area to run through for Brian Hill. And Matt goes off and checks it. And now you see the seal on the outside. Brown's around the corner. This is a well-executed play. And this is what you talk about doing a great job from pre-snap to post-snap. And your quarterback getting you out of a bad play to a good play and ultimately ends up in a big 62-yard run by Brian Hill. All right, let's jump on the defensive side of the ball where the Bucs are pretty good on third down, but sometimes it's not all about what they do. It's about what the Falcons do. And this is an instance where it's all about the details of playing the coverage. Now, in this particular play, it's third and 12 here. Third and 12. And you see the line of gain is right here. Now, all the Bucs want to do is they want to run their guys to get to the line of gain. They're going to have Antonio Brown run a little hitch route that comes all the way up here by 12, 13 yards and hook up. Same thing on the bottom down here. But down here at the bottom, here's the corner route that they're going to complete to Godwin. Now, the guy you got to pay attention to is the corner on the outside is Sheffield and also this underneath defender. On the snap of the ball, Sheffield should back up here. He does a good job at first of retreating because he has this underneath coverage here. Safety is going to get more to the middle of the field, but they want to work this high to low on this particular guy. If he drops too deep, they'll throw it to Antonio Brown out here. If he stays underneath, they want to throw this corner route on the outside. But one thing you have to do is the details. Because he has the underneath the coverage, Sheffield should continue to back up. Now, here's the dilemma here. He's going to get to the sticks here. Here's Sheffield. He's doing a good job of playing it here. But once this guy goes deep, we should have clear sight on him back here because he should be backpedaling. Safety's in the middle of the field. It should be covered. It should be perfectly covered. You got the same thing on this side. Underneath defender, and you got a guy over the top. Underneath defender and a guy over the top. But for just a half a second, watch Sheffield kind of stall his feet here as he stalls his feet right there. That's the only second he needed for this ball to be laid in here because he was so concerned about this, which he should not have because he had underneath defender it should be taken away. And these are the small details when you're playing this type of coverage that can hurt you. And they end up completing a big 47-yard pass down that sideline to Godwin. All about the details. All about doing your 111th on the defense, which makes everything work and go together. I want to thank you guys for joining me all year long. This has been Falcons Film Review, powered by Microsoft Surface. 
I am DJ Shockley. We appreciate you guys joining us all year. As I said, this has been a great year. We look forward to next year, and we'll see you next time here on AtlantaFalcons.com.